Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials and today I'll show you this type of logo making. So the logo is like that if I turn on this one and I'll get the logo like this. So I made this logo before but uh, some kind of reason suppose I didn't give the voice earlier and back in 2017 I decided to make this one with the voice and the directions and everything so let's start the tutorial if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so at first here is uh, some fonts I use the fonts that the lunar bar and here another one is uh, Roboto so I'll provide you that font in my video description please check out my video description so at first going to the file and taking new options and taking an artboard 2000 pixel and 2000 pixel and hit the create button and taking an artboard which is white or solid color like this and after that going to the file and then place embedded options so i downloaded that image which one i used and i just used this image and just placed over there and after that here is some selections which is the object selection tool and select subject if you press the select subject it will select automatically and after that select and mask options here are some smooth options i will provide over there and then new layer and hit ok and after that you are getting this one as a transparent background and deleting all the stuffs selecting these things and then going to the threshold options from these threshold options i'll change it up a little bit so 112 the value is and after that i'll merge it up so after merging that i'm getting over there and now i'm going to the select options and the color range i'll pick up the word uh, actually black color and hit ok it will select and control command j it will make another copy and which is the like raw copy and after that i'll go to the file and going to the place embedded options and after that i downloaded some colors or you can pick colors from the online suppose like this like colors if you find out the colors going to the image options from there you will find out lots of colors and other stuffs and which one do you prefer you can take from this actually i take uh, like a photo which is the really colorful any sort of photos it could be so let me find it out so i'm taking this one or i think this one is good and copy this image and after that paste over there so before that i have to make this one a little bit smaller like this okay and then this photo i'll make it bigger like this so i'll choose or pick up this type of colors that's fine and now i'll turn this layer into the upper side and going to the filter and the blur options and the gaussian blur options and making this one blur like this so value is 60 to 70 or 80 that's good and hit ok and after that right press and create clipping mask and now press controller command t and then you can change up the color like this so i like to use these type of colors or sometimes these type of colors and after that if i merge it out i'll get the color like this and now turning off or on the white color for the writing options press ctrl or command t actually only t from the keyboard because of t for the text tool select once and photography so write down so photography we are done and now another text layer ctrl or command j and i'll write down the arjun a r j u n and now i'll change up the uh, like uh, font types which is the lunar l u n this font and gap between two letters that is zero and press ctrl command t i'll make this one bigger so like this 
or I would like this and photography okay that's good and here some uh, like uh, dots or everything I'll uh, delete from the eraser here is the eraser tool and erasing this portion and erasing this portion that's good and then I'll just place over there so that's fine now time to add like a gradient going to the blending option from the color gradient options and then I'll choose the color so I'll pick up the color from here the another pole I'll pick up the color from here okay I can move this one and gradient and it, I can move this one so that's good and hit ok so photography should be black like this so logo this logo I'll place into the mock-up so here is some mock-up I downloaded for you guys and this one is a red one I already told you that and then any sort of color you can pick up so here uh, I'll go to the smart object turning off all the stops actually like this and this one the previous one I'll take control command C and control command V and saving this out and after saving this it will save in this window and literally you are getting like that if you want to use directly you can save this one into like a PNG so going to the file and the save as options from there going to your computer and save copy as and you can pick the PNG and logo okay that's good and save it out actually he already I got the name like this and saving this out now this one is PNG so how to apply this one I'm just opening up a random image like this going with the file and going to the place embedded options and here is the PNG logo and I'll make this one bigger so I'll place it up over there if I make this one like blending options and I can color overlay so hit ok and pick up and just place over there it could be the another solution so hope that you learned a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section and don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the new notification until the next video is signing out today stay safe stay healthy keep me in your prayers bye bye